Picture this, it's a crisp evening, the kind that wraps you in a cocoon of comfort after a long day. You're lounging on the couch, a bowl of popcorn perched on your lap, ready for an adventure that promises both laughter and intrigue. As you flick on the TV, there it is, a classic from yesteryears, the 1965 TV series Hogan's Heroes. Do you remember that very first encounter, the way it whisked you away to a world where humor and wit danced amidst the somber backdrop of World War II? Perhaps it was the ingenious escapades of Colonel Hogan and his eclectic crew of prisoners of war that left an indelible mark on your memory. Or maybe it was the clever banter, the improbable schemes, and the camaraderie that made you an instant fan. In the realm of classic television, few shows possess the timeless charm to transport us through eras. And Hogan's Heroes undoubtedly earns its spot in the Hall of Fame. But before we delve into the hidden gems that adorn this beloved series, let's set the stage, shall we? Imagine the confines of Stalag 13, a German prisoner of war camp, where Hogan's band of merry men outsmarts their captors at every turn. A potent blend of humor, camaraderie, and daring exploits unfolds against the backdrop of an otherwise grim setting. It's a juxtaposition that both entertains and makes us ponder the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Now, as we step behind the scenes and uncover some intriguing facts about the show, prepare to be pleasantly surprised. Did you know that the show was inspired by a real-life POW camp? Or that the character of Colonel Clink was initially conceived as a more menacing figure? These little-known tidbits add layers to the show's narrative, a testament to the creativity that fueled its success. So, as we journey through the untold stories and remarkable trivia that pepper Hogan's heroes, take a moment to reminisce about your own memorable moments with the show. Whether it's Hogan's sly grin, Sergeant Schultz's iconic I see nothing line, or the ingenious ways tunnels were dug, these moments have etched themselves into the tapestry of television history, inviting us to revisit them with a fond smile. And now, armed with these random yet fascinating insights, you're poised to experience Hogan's heroes with a fresh perspective, the hidden threads of its charm woven into your viewing experience. So, go ahead, embark on this journey back in time, where heroes wear humor as their armor and wit as their weapon, is their weapon, is their weapon. Hogan's Heroes, a television series that aired from 1965 to 1971, originated from the mind of Bernard Fein and Albert S. Ruddy. Set in a World War II German prisoner of war camp, the show centered on the clever exploits of American Colonel Hogan and his motley crew of allied prisoners. The main characters, including Colonel Hogan, Sergeant Schultz, and the bumbling Colonel Clink, became iconic figures in television history. The series stood out for its unique blend of comedy and wartime drama, combining slapstick humor with daring escape plots. It turned a dark period in history into a lighthearted, satirical backdrop. This distinct style resonated with audiences, offering a fresh perspective on war narratives. Hogan's heroes not only provided entertainment, but also served as a vehicle for social commentary. The show's impact on popular culture was profound. It navigated a delicate balance between humor and sensitivity, paving the way for later comedic takes on historical events. It brought awareness to the resilience of those affected by war while poking fun at authority figures. Despite criticism for potentially trivializing the war, the series managed to maintain a loyal following throughout its run and remains a notable example of how humor can be employed to address serious topics. Now, delving into some interesting tidbits about the show, Bob Crane, who played Colonel Hogan, was known for his skill in drumming and photography. Additionally, the series was filmed on the same studio lot as Gone with the Wind, adding a layer of historical irony. Lastly, Werner Klemperer, who portrayed Colonel Klink, received letters from Holocaust survivors expressing gratitude for his portrayal, seeing it as a way to expose the absurdity of Nazi ideology. Leon Askin's remarkable journey from internment to icon and Hogan's heroes in 1965. The television landscape welcomed Hogan's heroes, a sitcom set in a World War II prisoner of war camp. Amidst the laughter and antics, a remarkable backstory lay behind one of its cast members, Leon Askin, who portrayed General Burkhalter. Little did viewers know that Askin's own history was intertwined with the very theme of confinement and liberation. Before gracing American screens, Askin's life took an unexpected turn in 1939. 
Interned in Mesle du Maine, France, Askin found himself a French prisoner during the early days of World War II. Stranded in a foreign land, language barriers added to his predicament, as he knew scant English. Yet, his story took a dramatic twist on February 12, 1940. On that day, the approval of his immigration papers marked his path to America. Overcoming linguistic hurdles, Askin managed to find his footing, eventually becoming a prominent actor. The irony of his role in Hogan's Heroes was not lost on Askin. His character oversaw Stalag 13, where Allied prisoners schemed against their captors. Askin's personal history, though, had been one of internment, an experience mirroring the show's premise. This layer of authenticity lent depth to his portrayal. Amid the ensemble cast, Askin wasn't the only one with an intriguing tale. John Banner, the mastermind behind Sergeant Schultz, injected a unique perspective into the show's dynamics. In a surprising move, Banner proposed that Jewish actors take on the roles of the main German characters, including himself. His reasoning was stark, who better to play Nazis than us Jews? This decision added an intriguing dimension to the series, deepening the exploration of power dynamics and satire. Banner's character, Sergeant Schultz, became an emblem of comedic relief. His famous catchphrase, I know nothing, resonated with audiences, concealing a poignant subtext. Banner's personal history, marked by fleeing the Nazis himself, layered the character with subtle undertones. His assertion that he could never surpass the rank of sergeant echoed with a blend of humor and irony, given his own life's journey. As the show progressed through its 168 episodes, two stalwarts remained constant, Bob Crane and Werner Klemper. Amidst the rotating ensemble, they stood as the pillars of consistency. Their commitment and talent earned them the distinction of appearing in every single episode, becoming integral to the show's enduring legacy. In retrospect, Hogan's Heroes was more than just a sitcom set against a wartime backdrop. It encapsulated the journeys of its cast, echoing themes of survival, resilience, and unlikely camaraderie. Leon Askin's evolution from an internment camp to an iconic role showcased the unpredictable trajectories of life. John Banner's unique casting proposition challenged conventional norms, while Bob Crane and Werner Klemperer's steadfast presence grounded the show in the hearts of viewers. And so, Hogan's Heroes remains a testament to the unforeseen stories that unfold, both on and off the screen. When Hogan's Heroes altered history, a closer look at the German dubbed version in the world of classic television. Few series have blended comedy and wartime intrigue as deftly as Hogan's Heroes, the beloved show that took audiences behind enemy lines during World War II. Amidst the laughter and camaraderie, one fascinating aspect of the show often escapes notice, its German dubbed version's ingenious alterations. In this unique adaptation, iconic phrases took an unexpected turn. The infamous Heil Hitler salute, a chilling nod to the Nazi regime, was transformed into the light-hearted Heil Kroner. This clever substitution not only diffused the darkness of the original phrase, but also added a touch of absurdity to the tense wartime setting. But the linguistic changes didn't stop there. When the show veered into themes of destruction and combat, the dialogue underwent crafty modifications. Take the instance when the Americans raised a munitions factory in the original version. In the German dub, this factory transformed into a more innocuous toilet paper facility, injecting a playful twist into the narrative. Similarly, when Sergeant Schultz reported Allied bombing raids on Hamburg, the German version pivoted. The Royal Air Force became purveyors of candy, utilizing a clever propaganda maneuver. These alterations added a layer of cultural nuance, making the show more accessible to a German-speaking audience while highlighting the power of language in shaping narratives. Hogan's heroes managed to bridge two contrasting world humor and wartime tribulations thanks to these adept adaptations. As it turns out, even in translation, history can take on unexpected, thought-provoking dimensions. So, the next time you revisit the escapades of Colonel Hogan and his motley crew, remember the linguistic sleight of hand that transformed a serious backdrop into a playful stage for comedic capers. Through these alterations, the German-dubbed version of Hogan's Hero stands as a testament to the show's enduring ability to entertain and provoke thought across cultures. 
Howard Kane, master of dialects and Hogan's heroes in the annals of television history. Few actors have showcased the linguistic prowess that Howard Kane brought to the iconic 1965 TV series Hogan's Heroes. Behind the suave facade of Major Hitchstetter lay a remarkable talent, the ability to effortlessly switch between 32 different foreign and American dialects. Kane's portrayal of the relentless Gestapo officer was a masterclass in itself but his linguistic aptitude added an extra layer of authenticity to his character. From German to French, Russian to Italian, Kane's command over languages not only deepened the show's comedic nuances, but also exhibited his dedication to his craft. While Hogan's Heroes is remembered for its lighthearted take on the grim backdrop of World War II, it's actors like Howard Kane who added subtle yet remarkable dimensions to the series. His linguistic range remains a testament to the dedication of artists who transcend their roles. This dedication to authenticity is perhaps best exemplified in the now infamous black and white pilot episode. Originally featuring a Russian character played by Leonid Kinsky, the episode's portrayal of Nazi characters in a comedic light became a point of contention. Kinsky, uncomfortable with the portrayal, left the series, revealing the delicate balance the show navigated between satire and sensitivity. In a similar vein, the musical talents of Bob Crane, the show's lead, added a unique rhythm to the series. A proficient percussionist from a young age, Crane provided the drums for the show's theme song. His rhythmic finesse was spotlighted not only in the theme but also in select episodes. Notably, in Season 1's Episode 5, The Flight of the Valkyrie, and in Season 6's Episode 23, Look at the Pretty Snowflakes, Crane's drum solo during Cherokee underscored his multifaceted contributions. As we reflect on Hogan's heroes, it's the lesser-known facets like Howard Kane's linguistic dexterity, the behind-the-scenes decisions like Kinsky's departure, and the artistic dimensions such as Bob Crane's drumming that enrich our understanding of this classic sitcom. The show's legacy endures, built upon a foundation of intricate details that continue to captivate audiences, reminding us of the power of storytelling in all its nuances. As we bid adieu, the timeless allure of Hogan's heroes continues to beckon, a nostalgic journey that we've embarked upon together. It's been an expedition into the past, where laughter echoed through the corridors of Stalag 13, reminding us that even in the direst of circumstances, camaraderie and wit could thrive. The characters, each a mosaic of quirks and charms, have woven themselves into the tapestry of our memories. Who can forget the ingenious schemes of Colonel Hogan, the eloquence of Colonel Clink's unwitting humor, or the irrepressible spirit of Sergeant Schultz? These personas became companions, their tales unfolding within our hearts. Reflect upon the moments that sparked your laughter, the camaraderie that made you yearn for their unconventional unity, and the cleverness that seemed to defy all odds. Perhaps it was the subtle winks between Hogan and his crew, the clever disguises they donned, or the laughter that emerged from the most unlikely situations. As the curtain falls on our journey back to Stalag 13, take a moment to share your cherished memories, the anecdotes that made Hogan's heroes a treasure trove of joy. Let's celebrate the impact it has had on our lives as we carry its lessons of resilience, resourcefulness, and the unbreakable human spirit. Thank you for allowing me to traverse this nostalgic path with you. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated, and the echoes of Hogan's heroes will undoubtedly reverberate in the corridors of our hearts. Until we meet again to explore new narratives, remember that these characters and their tales are etched in the sands of time. Sands of time. Sands of time. 